how to configure flexible NetFlow on Cisco iOS. Flexible NetFlow improves an original on original NetFlow by adding the capability to customize the traffic analysis parameters for your specific requirements. Flexible NetFlow facilitates the creation of more complex configuration for traffic analysis and data exports through the use of reusable configuration components. Got uh, a few of the best practice or highlights. So NetFlow configuration varies slightly per hardware model and you should set active timeout to one minute. So this is the command This and this is the time interval. So should be, yeah, active one minute. So meaning that, you know, the cache will last for, or will be active for one minute. And use the NetFlow source interface that would never go down, such as a loopback interface. And there's actually four steps. And the first one is you create a flow record, and this is where you specify the fields to export. A uh, flow record it defines the information that NetFlow gathers, such as packets in the flow and the types of counters gathered per flow. If you would like to build a custom flow record outside of the predefined NetFlow original, original, you would specify a series of match and collect commands that tell the router which fields to include in the outgoing NetFlow PDU. The match fields are the key fields. They are used to determine the uniqueness of the flow. The collect fields are just extra info that we include to provide more detail to the collector for reporting and analysis. And this is an example of the flow record of a flow record configuration. And step two is you create a flow exporter, and this is where you specify and how you uh, and how NetFlow is to be sent. So here, of course, of course, the name of the flow record here is flow record one. And here is the name of the flow exporter is flow NetFlow uh, collector one, collector one, and this is just the description of course. And here, this is you specify the exporter or NetFlow collector IP address, and of course you should I'm using I'm using a and I'm actually using this topology here. So I'm using this interface here, but it's actually best practice to use a loopback interface. And this is how you specify the UDP port number. And in this case, I'm using uh, version 10 actually, or IP fix. So you have version 9, 5, and 1 also. Uh, but in this example, I'm using IP fix. And here, I'm also actually using NBAR. So here, if you can see, uh, I'm matching the application name and other fields that I'm matching, of course. And step three is you create a flow monitor. This is how, this is where you tie the flow record to the flow exporter. So this is the flow monitor name, and this is the record name, and you also have you can also um, use the NetFlow original, and this is where you call the NetFlow exporter, I mean exporter, and here is actually yeah so we. So earlier that the flow cache, yeah, cache timeout. So I think this is in seconds. <clears throat> we can verify later. Uh, verify 
if this is in seconds. If verify if this is in seconds. Yeah. And this is where you apply it, the flow monitor. So I'm applying it to this interface here. The I'm basically uh, going to monitor the traffic going into or coming into R1. So I'm applying it the flow the flow monitor input. I mean applying it on this interface inbound or ingress. So that's why it says input. And these are the uh, commands that we can use to verify our configurations or NetFlow. So I'm going to start configuring R1. So like I said, I'm going to configure R1 in, uh, yeah, R1. And of course, uh, PC1 can just uh, ping, I mean, PC1, R1 and R2, which is, I'm using uh, this cloud for R2, but this is basically a router. So they, they have layer three connectivity. So yeah, now I will configure R1. I will just, I'm just going to copy paste this basically. Okay, done. And then that's for flow record, like I said. And this is for flow exporter. I got an error message. So you can also, like I said, you can also use version five and version nine, but I'm using IPFX or version 10, IPFX, which allows me to actually use NBAR or basically match for uh, application name here. And this is where we tie the flow record to the flow exporter. So it's going to copy and paste that and exporter, exporter and cache, timeout, active. So yeah, it, it's in seconds. So the, the recommendation is one second. We should, we should set it to one second or 60 second seconds. So equivalent to one minute. And this is where you apply it to the interface. So IP flow monitor. Yeah, it's, it gives you the name of the flow monitor. And then you can either apply it input, output. You can also uh, apply a sampler, which I'm going to talk to, uh, in the future videos, talk about in the future future videos. So yeah, we're done. So let me run these commands. That's how you verify your flow record configuration. Yeah, same, basically almost the same. And this is, I just added this command, but we're not using this, not flow, I mean flow record. And this is how you verify your exporter configurations. Yeah, so here I'm using, like I said, IP fix or version 10. And this is how you can you verify your flow monitor configurations. Yeah. And of course, you can also use this command to check all the 
workflow monitors that you have on your interfaces. So in this case, I have this monitor applied to, uh, on this interface and the direction is input. And <clears throat> this is basically the same thing. So I'm going to just do that. You can also use this command. Which allows you to check the cache. Your, the, yeah, it says here cache record. And also this. And you can actually use these commands. So to aggregate flow record, flow data from the flow, flexible NetFlow cache or aggregating flow data from the flexible NetFlow cache. Yeah. And yeah, this is actually, this is this here is a good uh, show command. And this here aggregates the flow monitor cache data on the destination in source. Oh yeah, so aggregate Okay, cache data on the destination in source IP v4 addresses. Okay, so basically the same with this that I have here, but I also I'm also aggregating the application name and I'm saying counter bytes long format. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate. I mean, I'm going to ping. From R2, I'm going to ping PC1 just to generate some traffic. And I'm going to use this command here to just show you that we should be able to see it, to check the that flow. So in this case, I see that the source I mean, IPv4 source, source address is R2 here, and destination is this. And this is the bytes long, and application name is ICMP, and one flow. I'm going to try to ping or tell it from PC1 uh, to PC to R2 and see if. We, we can generate some traffic. That's fine. Okay, now we see <clears throat> that we have Tunnet uh, here. So we have four flows. Uh, so that's how you can configure flexible NetFlow on Cisco iOS. And of course, you can use these commands or show commands to basically get the output that you want. And this here, let me, one last try, let me try this one. Yeah, it's not gonna give you maybe format table. Yeah, now we see, uh, I'm gonna add this here to make it, to make the format table. All right, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.